adventure means trying something out of the ordinary. It means wilderness, going to a place that I have never been to before, pushing my body to limits that I have never pushed or reached before, really testing myself, learning more about myself, experiencing something that you would never usually experience in your day-to-day -day life. Loads of new friends, great memories. I don't want to go home now. Hi, my name's Marina Ranger. I am an ultra runner and Ironman. I started running when I was 22. Um, all because of my boss at an agency that I was working at um, then and it was a company incentive scheme. He basically said that he wanted to take someone on an ultramarathon with him um, and he would pay for all the expenses if they raised money for charity and proved that they were fit enough. And I had come from a background in sport, so I loved playing hockey and netball and lots of team sports. Um, but when I started working, I stopped playing team sports and needed another passion to fulfill. So I thought I'd take up running and um, I entered my first marathon um, in, in April, 2012 and started training for that in January 2012 and from then on I guess I could call myself a runner um, and it was that October that I took part in the ultra marathon in the Kalahari Desert which is where my real passion for running started. Before that I'd only ever run five kilometres, but because I was quite sporty at school and university, I um, had a good base level of fitness, um, but I didn't enjoy running to start off with. I found it boring um, and really monotonous. Um, and funnily enough, even after the London Marathon, my first official race, I still didn't really have the running bug. And it was only really after the Kalahari Ogarbri's Extreme Marathon, which um, is a self-sufficient 250 kilometer seven day race. Um, so you have to carry your whole week's supply of food um, and clothing and medical kit, um, all the mandatory equipment um, and your sleeping bag, your sleeping mat, your pillow, all on your back. So it wasn't really until the end of that week that I really discovered my passion for running. Um, and that's when the ball started rolling. I love ultramarathons because they are more than just running. It's all about the experience, um, the fact that you're pushing your body to limits that you never even knew existed. Um, you meet some incredible people. I've made such a broad network of friends through running now and it's such a friendly community of people and i've just learned so much about myself as well through um all the ultramarathon races i've done i think i choose my next challenge based on me doing something completely different to the last time or um, achieving a goal that I haven't yet achieved. So for example, I branched out into triathlon after having done the most difficult challenge in running that I'd ever done, which was running 500 kilometers in five days from the north to the south of Holland. There was no rest and it was a self-organized challenge, which meant we organise everything ourselves, the logistics, the support crew, of which there were 13. Um, and it was just me and my friend Lucia running in it. So you don't get the race atmosphere and you don't have people cheering you on like you do in races. It was just pretty relentless and my body fell to pieces. I was an absolute emotional wreck. Um, and yeah, I've never been in such a bad way and people really doubted if I could actually get to the finish, but um, something up here <laughs> made me keep going. So um, yeah, hands down, that's the hardest thing I've ever done. 
whenever I enter challenges or start at the beginning of a race, I never ever think about quitting. It just, it just isn't in me. I mean, I obviously think, oh my God, what am I doing? I'm in so much pain. But to start a race, I think the second you doubt yourself, the second you think it's not possible for me to finish this or I don't want to finish this, then it's over for you. And um, for that reason, I don't think I could ever let it in my head that I'm not capable of finishing something because I know I am. Um, and keeping that mentality right from the start to the finish is probably what's kept me going in some of the toughest races in the world so the best adventure i've done is the wadi ram ultra which is a 250 kilometer race in the wadi ram desert in jordan over five days mainly because i got so much out of it including a bunch of new friends loads of great memories lots of lessons learned for future races I also perform quite well, that obviously enlightens your experience and the scenery was absolutely stunning, um, a lot of it I was running on my own so I really felt as if I was running in the middle of Mars. Hands down the best way of me seeing countries is through travelling for my races or to travel to exercise, so going on a cycling holiday in the mountains or going on a trail running weekend in a hill somewhere um, or by the coast. Um, literally all of my holiday days are taken up by choosing somewhere fun in the world that I've never been to before that I want to explore either on my bike or on my feet. My next adventure past my um, World Championships triathlon race in July is going to be um, an adventure with at least 12 girls. Um, we are called Like a Girl. We're a platform for change um, and it's an initiative to empower women and allow them to believe that anything is possible and they are capable of more than they believe they are. Um, and the idea is that we take a group of girls on adventures every year. Um, so one year being run like a girl, ride like a girl, swim like a girl, ski like a girl, trek like a girl. And this year in October we're going to do the Wadi Rum Ultra, which I did last year, um, with a group of about 12 girls as I say. And we are as a women's team going to run through the Wadi Rum Desert um, and prove to as many women as possible that um, you know their dreams can come true and they can do far more than they're capable of and to get more women doing endurance sports because um, the proportion between men and women still isn't quite there. Um, women are always the, mi mi the minority um, and it would be good to see a bit more females doing some epic challenges. So if you want to follow our upcoming challenges we are called Team Like a Girl on Instagram and teamlikeagirl.com is our website. For someone that wants to start long distance running I would advise start running. <laughs> um, you need to stay positive, you need to stay really committed and motivated. Um, try and get friends involved, get people to run with you, try and keep it really varied, that's interesting. The more um, varied you keep it, the more likely you are to um, go out and do your session because it's something you haven't done before. Um, and you know, if you need to get a coach, get some advice, talk to people about it, tell people that, that you are running so that you're more willing to get up the next day and actually go for a run in the morning when it's 5am and pitch black outside. Um, 
uh, book some races in, book some um, some smaller goals that lead up to your end goal. So if you've got a 100 kilometer race, pick a 50 kilometer race and maybe a 75 kilometer race or just the one 50 kilometer race as your milestones throughout training. Um, back to back runs are good for ultra running. So preparing your body for that lack of recovery. Um, keep stretching, stretching is really important. Make sure you focus on your recovery, don't overdo it. Um, the list is really kind of endless. <laughs> but the main thing is that you are enjoying it um, because otherwise there's no point in doing it. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at mranger90 and my blog page is runningranger.squarespace.com.